from Hirata. I must pay my respects. Lord Kuro. Lady Emma. Are there other Hirata survivors? There are very few of us left. I see. Apologies. There's no end to those who seek the dragon's heritage. This was their fate. Because of those that pursued me. I didn't mean to involve them. <laughs> I've been waiting for you, good sir. I've procured some goods with the coin you gave me. Go on. Buy something. By the way, good sir, I'm going to let you in on something. All right. I'm thinking about expanding my business. I mean, who knows when Ashina will fall? It's what you might call a, uh, sinking ship. In other words, <laughs> opportunity is knocking, you know? Which is why I have a favor to ask of you. What is it? Do you mind finding out what the Ashina Samurai want right now? You tell me that, and I can sell it to them. You're a shinobi. I bet you've got a good ear for gathering information from the enemy. Ah, help a poor merchant out here, huh? Please! I don't feel safe with that big bastard just tied up next to us. I'd rather not be gravely injured just before the war begins. Ah, if the worst happens. Only choice is to use fire. Those red eyes fear fire. That's what the Lord's proclamation said. Proclamation? What a joke. Ashina sure has a funny way of preparing for war.
managed to drive them back once. But the Interior Ministry's army is far too powerful. And that is why you wish to use the power of my blood. It doesn't matter how much power you obtain. You'll keep on fighting until you're a monster. Incapable of feeling pain or fear. I do not wish to corrupt the lives of men. Look at this mountain of bodies. Ashina cannot be defended by normal means. Not me. I could never be as strong as you, Lord Genichiro. I do not yet know what it is I should do. It has been a long time since that happened. Wait all you'd like. It'll do you no good. Kyobu Masataka Oniwa! Move in haste and die, friend!
Another rat. Hmm. Ah, but those eyes. A starving wolf. Before I kill you, tell me your name. Tell me your name! <laughs> no name to give. You should know me all the same. You die nameless, with no one to mourn you. However, your left arm, a prosthetic shinobi arm, it reminds me of... <laughs> That's it. A one-armed wolf. I like it. Which means Sekiro. That is what I shall name you. Who are you? <laughs> I am the Tengu of Ashina. Come, Sekiro. Care to hunt some rats with me? What? Rats have snuck into Ashina, scurrying about like they own the place. There are all kinds of rats out there, and they must be cut down. Every last one of them. It seems you have a talent for killing. Allow me to help you hone that talent. What'll it be, Sekiro? Will you hunt rats with me? Very well. Excellent. You'll need this if you're with me, Sekiro. What is this? <laughs> the face of a rat. And where it makes its home. Go and kill it. If you do, I will give you something that will aid you in battle. Care to purchase an offering? Another one. Where you find the departed, you'll find the Memorial Mall. A battlefield is our paradise. Go ahead. Buy an offering. Where you find the departed, you'll find the Memorial Mall. Wherever your travels take you, make sure you bring some offerings.
Ah, looks like you've caught yourself some rats. Yes. I knew you had a talent for killing. Wonderful. Here's your reward. Take it! This is... The ways of the Ashina Blade. It's our school of fighting. But there are no hard and fast rules. You just win your battles. That alone is the most important rule of the Ashina style. I hope it can be of assistance with your rat hunting. And most of all, your own battles you've yet to fight. between friend or foe.
Sounds like he's calmed down. What? The enemy is still alive! What? What about the bull? Where's the bull? Thank heavens. For what do you pray? Oh, you there. Have you heard of the Senpo Temple? The Senpo Temple on Mount Kongo. A very special holy person lives in that place. Go on. Join me in prayer. Thank heavens. Thank heavens. Lord Kuro, it is time, Lady Emma. Yes, I know. Master Genichiro is waiting, is he not? I will return to the top of Ashina Castle. Well, that reed whistle we used before. This time, I will use it to call on you. I'm sure you are all aware already. This coming battle will determine the fate of all Ashina. We go now to risk our lives for Lord Ishin and the peoples of Ashina. We are Ashina! We are unbreakable! Here! For Ashina! One of the samurai of this castle, are you, friend? You look like a shinobi, a skilled one at that. That's right. <laughs> I thought so. In that case, let's say you take care of some of the samurai around here. Some unfortunate things happened, and now they're after me day and night. 
I'm at the end of my rope here. I tell you, these Ashina samurai got a stick so far up that... Well, you'd think they'd have bigger things to worry about than chasing after me, anyway. You're a real friend, friend. I owe you. Here, as promised, it's all yours. See ya, pal. Maybe we'll cross paths again someday.
told those morons to give it a rest. But they don't. They just keep sending more. Such a pain in my... Huh? You one of them Nightjar cronies? No. Ah, of course not. There's something different about you. But I'd say you're in the same line of work. The name's Black Hat Badger. What's yours? <laughs> Real sociable one, aren't we? First this stubborn lot, now a down in the dumb shinobi. And then those Ashina boys raising hell outside. <sighs> Could this day get any better? You're a fugitive. Something like that, sure. By the by, I'm a little out of pocket these days. Got the goods, but no one to sell them to. Been waiting for someone like you to show up. about this one? Rats have been swarming into Ashina Castle these days. You know the ones I mean. But there's this hell-bent old-timer cutting them up like it was nothing. Was he wearing a Tengu mask? Oh, so you did see him. Yes. We spoke. <laughs> well, ain't you just full of surprises? I'm impressed he let you keep your head. Well, I'll be here, raking in the profits. Come back anytime you like.
Lady Emma, tell me, what has caused the state of this man? The rejuvenating waters, that is what it is called. Are you telling me that this is Ashina's secret weapon? I am. Those who drink it cannot fully die. No, they become unable to die at all. The rejuvenating water, it also... It springs from the dragon's blood, does it not? Yes. Lady Emma, I do not believe the dragon's blood is sacred. Not at all. How is Grandfather? Lord Ishinis. It's a wonder he is still with us. A miracle. Is that so? Divine Heir, I'll ask you once more. Accept me to your mortal oath. I cannot do that, Lord Genichiro. Your victory that day means nothing. He will risk his life to take me home. For he is my shinobi. My lord, I have come for you. This... will only take a moment. Let's see... For as long as you are alive, the dragon's blood can never be mine. Face me. Shinobi. I don't think I'd see you.
Impressive, Shinobi of the Divine Air. Would you deserve better? Would you not answer to a different lord? Heresy. Heresy, you say? If it is for the sake of preserving Ashina. I will seize any manner of heretical strength. I will do any burden. Behold the lightning of Tomoy. You were victorious, I see. Are you? I mean you no harm. Shinobi of the Divine A- oh. Lord Kenichiro, is this the rejuvenating waters? <laughs> ah, Shina. This land is everything to me. For her sake. I will shed humanity itself. Resurrection. Yes. Long last, I've managed to fulfill my master's orders. 
I give you my thanks. Who exactly do you serve? Ishin Ashina. <clears throat> I am a doctor in the service of Lord Ishin. Why were you ordered to help me? Lord Ishin has no desire to use the power of the dragon's heritage. That is why he... He tried to help Lord Kuro escape Ashina. Correct. The message I found in the well, that was your doing? Also correct. My duties have concluded. But there's someone I think you'd like to see. Lord Kuro is downstairs. I have come for you, my lord. Yes, you did well to come here. Let us go. We must leave, Ashina. Wolf, my blood. The blood of the dragon causes men to become undying. The same goes for you. Yes, my lord. I wish to save you. I'm sure that I would do the same thing given another chance. However, undying begets stagnation. The immortal oath the rejuvenating waters, the dragon rot, they all corrupt men to the point that they no longer live as men. I wish to sever the chains of stagnation bred by the dragon's heritage. Wolf, will you help me achieve this aim? Father, I cannot break the Iron Code. I cannot, to protect you, the divine heir. That was the duty my father entrusted to me. How many times have you died and come back to life for my sake? Two? Three times? Or perhaps a number so large that it cannot be counted? As it was for the purpose of defending my lord, the number does not matter. I do not wish to bind you to an eternity of undeath. Wolf, join me in my quest to sever the ties of immortality. As you wish. Thank you. Loyal wolf. If we are seeking to sever the immortal ties, I know a good place to start. Wolf, look at this. It's an ancient record that was kept in Ashina Castle. Sacred dragon tears from the divine realm. Yes. It is my belief that with the Dragon Tears, it may be possible to sever the Dragon's heritage. But... the Divine Realm? How do we... I know. Wolf, that incense burner over there, it belonged to a... person of interest. Take a look. Is there something special about it? I'm told that long ago, there was another divine heir living here in Ashina Castle. His name was Lord Takeru. This incense burner belonged to him. Where is he now? He died a long time ago, apparently. Wrapped in the aroma of the fountainhead, I returned to the divine realm. Those are supposedly the words he left behind. You're saying the scent of the fountainhead is the key to reaching the divine realm? That is my belief, Wolf. Let us discover the truth together. Now, as to how we begin our search, I am certain some of Lord Takeru's books remain in this castle. Books that he collected in order to find the Divine Realm. I will search for them. In addition to finding a way to reach the Divine Realm, might we also look into how we might sever the immortal ties? A fine suggestion. Talk to Ishin. If anyone knows the answer, it is him. Wolf, come with me. Lord Ishin is not within this castle citadel. I'm told he is recuperating in one of these watchtowers. However, the path to his watchtower is closed. His health is a little... How do I get in? On the roof. There's a path patrolled by the Nightjar Ninja. It's intended for Shinobi, 
but I imagine that won't be a problem for you. I've heard the Nightjar use smoke signals as landmarks. Yes, so if you follow their smoke signals, you should be able to reach Lord Ishin, and you can use this window to reach the roof. About the Divine Heir's life. Yes? There is something I wish to ask. Uh, before that, Saki. What? You earned it. Take it. My grandson, Genichiro, was bewitched by the rejuvenating waters. You did well to put a stop to that for me. You have my thanks. I merely followed the code my father taught me. Ah, the Iron Code of the Shinobi. I see. So you're the son of Owl. That boy he found during the rebellion. Yes. And your travels brought you here. <laughs> the bonds that tie us are so deeply amusing. Don't you think, Sekiro? You're... So what do you wish to know? The Divine Heir's desire is to sever the ties of immortality. I want to know how it can be done. The mortal blade. If you had such a weapon, it may be the key to what you are after. The mortal blade? With it, you could kill one who cannot die through normal means. One who cannot die? The infested, I believe they are called. I have not seen one before, but it's said you could stab them through the heart, or remove their head, and they wouldn't die. <laughs> If the stories are true, they'd surely be quite fearsome. Hmm. To kill a monster such as that, you'd need the mortal blade. Where is this mortal blade? I've heard it's held in Senpo Temple. However, they say the mortal blade cannot be drawn. What do you mean? I am not certain of the meaning. It's just hearsay. Hmm. The gates to that temple are closed now, though. Who knows what those degenerates are doing shut away up there in the mountains. There aren't any decent roads leading there. How do I get there? The abandoned dungeon just outside of Ashina Castle. If you can pass through its waterways, you should find your way. Here. Are you offering me the sake I gave you? <laughs> Delightful. I'll take it. <clears throat> ah, that's the stuff. By the way, how was Ganishiro? What do you mean? You two cross blades, did you not? Uh -huh. To put it simply, he was strong, and he had unusual techniques. I see. What exactly is the Lightning of Tomoe? <laughs> that is a technique belonging to Genichiro's mentor. I'll wager it was quite the sight. His mentor? Tomoe. There aren't many masters of the sword like her. To see her fight, it's like she's dancing. When you look into her eyes, you feel as if you're being drawn into the depths of the ocean. I was completely taken by her, and it almost killed me. I've lived a long life, but that was the closest I've come to death. You're leaving, Sekiro. Severing immortality. That will be quite the battle. And in battle, the plans and desires of those involved churn endlessly. If you hesitate, you'll be swept away. And lose the battle. 
That's right. Best you keep it in mind. Sekiro, hesitate, and you lose. So, you've met with Lord Ishin? Yes. He thanked me for defeating Genichiro. I see. To think that Lord Genichiro would go as far as to drink the rejuvenating sediment. Rejuvenating sediment? That's what we call a particularly concentrated part of the rejuvenating waters. I'm sure you saw it for yourself. The rejuvenating sediment grants great resilience in one's flesh. One becomes able to withstand blows that would be fatal to anyone else. My mentor Dogen devoted much research to its uses, but all of his works, documents, medicines, everything, were burned and destroyed. I'm not sure who, but I heard one of the senior apprentices was able to salvage some of it, probably Dojun. Did you ask Lord Kuro's thoughts on the matter? I did. And? We've decided to sever the ties of immortality. I see. I thank you for all of the help you've given me. <laughs> Almost sounds like you're bidding me farewell for good. I've carried out my lord's orders, so I will stay here in the castle. Come and speak to me whenever you please. I will provide my assistance to you as a doctor. You made this gourd. Yes. It was intended for Lord Kuro, but it seems he entrusted it to you. I'm sure you may have noticed, but the medicinal waters in this gourd spring forth on their own. Even after being emptied, you will find it full again after a short rest. Yes. Is there a way to improve it? Bring me gourd seeds. Gourd seeds? Yes. Medicinal waters flow from gourd seeds. Adding new seeds will increase the volume of these medicinal waters. If you find any, bring them to me. All right. I still don't understand the particulars, but it appears as though your body is no longer confined by the rules of our world. Come and see me if you notice anything alarming. I will. Goodbye. Sekiro, what is it you wish to learn about separate the times and mortality? Yeah. Well, well, uh, if it isn't like it's... You've really done it this time, Sekiro. That <laughs> <laughs> hit the spot. <laughs> Whenever I used to get my hands on Dragon Spring. A bunch of fools would start coming to me, demanding drinks. Fools? Fools who wouldn't let go of their cross spears while they drank. Fools who would steal sake using illusion techniques. Fools tinkering with half-finished prosthetics. Sake cup in hand. And even the cunning owl, who despite his size would turn bright red after the first drop. That's... <laughs> Yes, your father was a fool, too. You're leaving, Sekiro. Another time, then.
still so much dust. Returned. Oh, Wolf, you're back. Did you meet with Lord Ishin? I did. He said the mortal blade, it could be the key to severing immortality. The mortal blade? It's a sword that has the power to kill the undying. It can be found at Senpo Temple. I see. Yes, that seems promising. As you say. For my part, I hunted for any books that may contain clues about the aroma of the Fountainhead. It seems Lord Takeru indeed sought a way to reach the Divine Realm. So far, i found one piece of relevant information. What is it? A flower. A flower? First, read this. What is... Lord Takeru left it behind. I was looking for information on the Fountainhead Aroma, and how it relates to the Divine Realm. There is water that flows from the fountainhead through Ashina, and the book speaks of a white lotus flower that grows where the water pools deeply. It appears to be one component of the fountainhead aroma. A place where the fountainhead waters pool deeply, perhaps in a deep valley? Yes, indeed. The sunken valley may be the place the fountainhead waters should flow into there. Where is this sunken valley? It's beyond the woods to the rear of the castle. There's a shrine dedicated to the White Serpent deep in the woods. As the name implies, the Sunken Valley is just below that place. There's no proper path down there, but a man of your talent could navigate it. Oh, that's right. That door marked with the outline of a person. Lord Ishin once called it a shinobi shortcut. I haven't a clue how it works. But seeing as he mentioned Shinobi, I thought you might know. So busy here today. <coughs> Sculptor. I don't need your concern. I'm not normal, you see. No mere dragon rot will kill me. <coughs> what are you doing? Hmm? Oh, I didn't realize you were here. The sculptor has been coughing blood. I took a sample of this blood for my dragon rot research. A sample of his blood? Yes, blood that he's coughed up. The color of the blood itself appears to be tainted, stagnant. But the sculptor's blood alone isn't enough to reach any conclusions. Is there anything I can do? Yes, 
bring me samples of blood coughed up by others that suffer from the dragon rot. If I have more, I'll be able to learn more about the disease. If I come across anyone afflicted by the dragon rot, I'll ask them. Thank you. Goodbye. Hey, it's you. Thanks again for bailing me out back at Ashina Castle. I'm gonna be hanging around here for a while. I need time to sort through all the info I've got. Speaking of which, I'm happy to do business with you anytime. Interested? goods instead of info, huh? I've always had sticky fingers, I guess. I end up collecting lots without really noticing. I got fed up with all the offerings and memorials, so I left the mob. But when I see a dead body, I can't leave it unpilfered. Besides, property can belong to anyone, right? <laughs> Until next time, friend. have enough salt? Yes, sir. We use it for cooking, of course, but we also use it on wounds and for purifying the dead. So at the rate people are dying, we're out then? Yes, sir. That's why many on the battlefield are falling ill. I see. We'll need to find a way to get some salt then. Hey, good sir! I found out what the samurai want. Oh, you mean it, good sir? Yes. It seems they're low on salt. Salt, you say? Well, you eat it, of course. But it's also good for purifying the dead and putting on wounds. 
Diseases spread quick, with rotten corpses on the battlefield. Everyone's scrambling for salt. <laughs> that means now's the time to cash in. <sighs> Lots of people need salt. I mean, karma shouldn't bite me if I sell it for a tad more than the going rate, right? Ah, now that that's decided, it's time to get me some salt. Thank you very much, good sir. Until next time, good sir. I'll stock some new products if I can sell a lot of salt. Make sure you pay me a visit when I do. that put the armor on that big bugger from Taro Troop. Yeah, he was making a stink about it. It was a damned awful job. But it looks like it paid off, didn't it? He already had a huge frame and massive strength, and you just made him near impervious to blame. That is true, but... He doesn't like that armor. And he sure didn't like me putting it on him. When a fight happens, it might come off easier than you think. <laughs>
Care to purchase an offering? Another one. Where you find the departed, you'll find the memorial mob. We, the impure, cannot turn a blind eye to anyone. Go ahead. Buy an offering. Where you find the departed, you'll find the memorial mob. Wherever your travels take you, make sure you bring some offerings with you. doing here of all places ah are you perhaps a shinobi my you are a talkative one aren't you in that case I don't wish to waste any more of your time good day Look this way. Gaze upon the image of the Enlightened One. Those of the Senpo Temple have strayed from Buddha's teaching. They have abandoned their faith, seduced by a search for immortality. Should you be captured, there is no telling what would become of you. You would do well to return the way you came. However, I will not stop you from entering if you are determined to do so. But if you do, please proceed with care. <laughs> 